The title is not a clickbait. About a month ago, I played in one of the Lee Chess titled arenas and got paired against Hans twice. So here are the games. Alrighty, so we played two games of bullet chess, which is one minute, in this case, zero second increment. So somebody's gonna flag. I had white one game, he had white one game. Here's the first one. End up playing d4, and we just get in a normal King's Indian position. Um, just making our moves quick, quickly in the opening. I'm just trying to protect my pawns on e4 and c4, which give me space. Black's trying to harass those pawns. Uh, just getting the pieces out. G5 is a bit of a move I want to talk about, only because it weakens the f5 square. And I remember during the game, I wanted to take advantage of that. But first, got to move that bishop. So fast forward a little bit, and I'm still just we're you know he's attacking my pawns. I'm defending. We're playing quickly. His queen comes out some point maybe some knight f3 ideas we're just shuffling a little bit and now knight a4 i wanted to go knight a4 so i can go knight b6 forking the bishop and the rook if i get rid of this light squared bishop then if i get that knight on f5 my dream my dream knight to, would be on f5 there's no light squared bishop that could potentially attack it so i like knight a4 just especially for an easy bullet move get rid of that bishop stabilize my pawns nothing too exciting just the bullet game where both players are playing quickly and not trying to play the most optimal moves, just easy to find moves and not blundering, right? Even material, you know, white um, has this pawn to target, black has the A file. I'm just reacting a bit. And right here is kind of an interesting moment. I go queen d1, right? Hitting the d6 pawn, which is loose. Black could go um, rook d8, for example. Hans goes bishop g uh, e5. Now I go knight g4. And this is where bullet, you know, he would never make this mistake in another time control. I'm not really hitting this. What I'm going for is the h6 uh, pawn. And he just misses my idea. You know, king g7 or bishop back to g7. You might be able to give up this pawn. I don't know. Hans plays h5. That's just a blunder. Because I'm not trying to win this bishop. I'm trying to go knight h6 check. Bring my knight to f5, which was always a square I wanted. And my queen hits h5. So I end up getting my knight to the square, winning a pawn, and now white's winning. Game's not over because it's bullet chess, but I get my dream position. So fast forward a bit, keep the queens on the board because, you know, I want to checkmate Black's king. Black's trying to prevent that, trade off some pieces, move my king out of the way. And now now is where we're like at 10 seconds. It's just messy. Um, I don't know if I can take that knight. I didn't even want to think about it. So I actually just took this pawn, trying to get my queen uh, into Black's position and come up with some mating threats. Hans doesn't take that rook, which he probably should. Instead, he goes for this idea, which is actually, actually kind of clever. Under 10 seconds, look at knight h3. You're physically attracted to taking this. But then after g4, you have to figure out what to do. And I'm just happy. I have two choices here. And I'm pretty shaky. I make a lot of blunders. I could have gone knight h4. The idea is to block the queen from, from taking on h3. Problem is, there's queen takes h4. The pawn is pinned, and they're going to end up winning this anyways. I end up playing bishop h6 check, gaining a move, and blocking the h files while defended. So I get out of dodge there, and now, I mean, black is down a piece. So king goes to g8. I go queen d1 instead of taking this pawn. I'm actually kind of proud of that move, because what ends up happening is, like, let's say you take. I was just, you know, I assumed I was going to have a checkmate, like, by bringing my queen in, that there was some sort of forced checkmate here. There probably is, instinctually. But Hans doesn't take my bishop, tries to give his king some space in the corner, and just check out the finish here. Queen g4 check, king h8, I bring my rook to the 7th, so it's no longer hanging. Rook g8, queen h4, nothing of mine is hanging. He goes queen g6, he's just got to make a move, we're at like a second each. And I end up <laughs> playing king g2 here, because we're pre-moving. He goes bishop g7, and bishop takes g7, double check mate that was uh that was the first game obviously if i had time to think bishop g7 first is checkmate uh, right away but yeah that was that was our first bullet game so messy but i got my knight to f5 good things happened let me show you the next one all right so game two towards the end of the tournament we get paired hans is white and it's kind of an important game for the final standings so it goes g3 i just decide to react in the center you know, put my pawns on e5, d5, life is good. And I mouse slip. King e7, it's not intentional. 
I meant to play bishop d6 so I could castle and, and have a normal position. Instead, I play king e7 and I go in survival mode. Fortunately, after e4, I take and actually the rook on e1 doesn't really have a way to get the king on e7. So I end up getting a relatively normal position except for the fact that I can't castle. Um, and that's kind of the most noteworthy part of the second game we played. I ended up getting a bit of a time advantage because Hans was like trying to figure out how to attack and crack crack my position because because I couldn't castle. But I end up we go forward a few moves, getting my pieces out. I get my pieces out, and here I make a manual castle. F6, King F7, tuck my bishop in G6, and considering the opening, uh, I made out pretty okay here. Now things get very messy once I start pawn grabbing, but yeah, I think the most noteworthy part was that that mouse slip in the opening. We're, you'll see what happens. I end up going up a couple of pawns. Life is good. Up two protected pass pawns here, and I'm up on time. And that's when the game gets really s sloppy because I don't convert very well. Um, he could have just grabbed this pawn, but instead, I refuse to play moves like b5 like a normal person. At least I can say we're under 15 seconds. B5, supporting my pass pawns, I'm gonna win the game. Nope. Let's start giving up all our remaining additional pawns. And we gotta win chess the hard way. Let's not take the rook. We're just pre-moving, it's bullet. Don't judge too harshly. And the point is, we end up in a position like this. Queen, rook, three pawns, queen, rook, four pawns, and bishop for both sides. But my king is more in the open. Uh, the problem for Hans was he had no time. So I'm up a pawn, but my king's more in the open. Fortunately, I don't get mated, and he just loses on time. So not the... This game was like no flashy finish, just one on time. But I figured, you know what? Uh, I played Hans twice. One of them ended in a cool-looking checkmate. I figured I'd just show you guys. And by winning this game, I mean, it helped towards the final standings. I, like, finished in... 11th place in the tournament, which isn't a great result, but it's a pr pretty stacked event these Lee chess titled arenas So it wasn't wasn't terrible. I held my own got a couple games against Hans figured I'd share with you guys Spirit.